What if I told you that the most important company of the AI revolution isn't Google, isn't Microsoft, and isn't even Apple, but a company that once only made gaming cards for teenagers? This isn't science fiction. It's happening right now. And the name of that company is NVIDIA. From powering the world's most advanced supercomputers to creating the digital brains behind robots, AI assistants, and even your smartphone, NVIDIA is quietly becoming the infrastructure of tomorrow. And here's the twist. This video was partially written by AI, the very kind NVIDIA helps bring to life. Let's dive in. Behind every smart assistant, self-driving algorithm, or photo-enhancing filter, there's one company whose chips are working overtime, NVIDIA. You might know them from their GeForce graphics cards, popular among gamers. But what most people don't realize is that those same chips, evolved and optimized, are now fueling the global artificial intelligence boom. Enter the Blackwell architecture, NVIDIA's most advanced AI chip design yet. Think of it as the engine under the hood of tomorrow's smartest technologies. These aren't just faster GPUs, they're purpose-built to train and run large-scale AI models like the ones that generate voices, write texts, or recognize cancer cells. Blackwell isn't just another upgrade. It's a 200 billion transistor behemoth designed to operate efficiently at massive scale. And here's the kicker. Blackwell chips are built to run in AI factories, NVIDIA's term for data centers retooled not just for storage, but for intelligent creation. Imagine server farms, not just storing data, but building thinking systems 24-7. These AI factories are already in use across industries. In finance, they help predict market behavior. In healthcare, they assist in drug discovery. And in manufacturing, they enable robotic systems to learn in simulation before ever touching a physical product. But how does this affect everyday people or the stock market? Well, every time a company decides to build an AI model, guess who they call? NVIDIA. That's why NVIDIA's stock price has soared and why investors are treating it like the new oil of the digital world. And let's not forget DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling. This clever tech uses AI to upscale images in real time, making games smoother and sharper without burning through processing power. It's a consumer-facing demonstration of how AI can work silently and invisibly, enhancing quality while saving energy. DLSS is already on version 4.0, and it's more than just eye candy. It's proof that AI optimization is becoming mainstream. The real genius of NVIDIA isn't just in the chips, it's in how they're turning AI into a scalable utility. Much like electricity in the early 20th century, we don't fully grasp how deeply it will change our lives. And as we step further into this AI-powered future, NVIDIA isn't just participating, it's quietly laying the foundation. Imagine you're in Taiwan, a place where typhoons meet microchips and factories never sleep. Now picture a room the size of a football field, humming with blinking lights, server racks, and cables feeding into something bigger than just technology. That's not sci-fi. That's the Foxconn NVIDIA AI supercomputing hub, and it's just the beginning. NVIDIA isn't just selling chips anymore, it's building the infrastructure of artificial intelligence, and it's doing it by making friends in high places, not just in Silicon Valley, but globally. In Taiwan, they're partnering with Foxconn to turn the island into Asia's AI brain. In Germany, they're working with car manufacturers on autonomous driving systems. In the Middle East, they're laying the foundation for AI data centers in deserts that will someday think faster than the human brain. But let's pause for a second. With all this data flying around the world, the big question is, who's watching it? Who's protecting it? That's where NordVPN comes in. You may think of a VPN as just something techies use to hide their IP address, but in a world where AI systems are increasingly cloud-connected and always learning, your data isn't just valuable, it's vulnerable. Whether you're a content creator, a trader, or just someone Googling best coffee in Mexico City, your online activity is constantly being logged, tracked, and analyzed. Using NordVPN is like adding a steel door to your digital life. You still get access to everything, but now no one's peeking through the keyhole. With thousands of servers worldwide, fast speeds, and top tier encryption, it's the kind of tool NVIDIA engineers would use off hours if they were browsing for memes. And yes, if you want to support this channel and secure your browsing, check out the link in the description. It helps both of us. Now back to NVIDIA. One of the most fascinating moves they've made recently is called NVLink Fusion. It's a mouthful, but here's the idea. 
NVIDIA's traditionally been about keeping things in-house, their chips, their architecture, their ecosystem. But with NVLink Fusion, they're opening the gates. Now, rival chips, yes, even from AMD or Google, can connect with NVIDIA's infrastructure in custom setups. Think of it like Apple allowing Android to run smoothly on iPhones. It's that kind of strategic shift. Why? Because NVIDIA sees the future not in fighting over chip wars, but in becoming the connective tissue of the entire AI ecosystem. Whether it's a Google TPU or a Huawei accelerator, if it's plugged into an NVIDIA managed system, NVIDIA wins. This open strategy does two things. Keeps NVIDIA relevant, even if other companies innovate faster, and expands their influence in places where US tech isn't always welcome, like China or the Middle East. And that's no accident. NVIDIA knows that the AI race isn't just technical, it's geopolitical. The brilliance here is that NVIDIA is playing four-dimensional chess, while others are still arguing over who has the faster chip. They're building alliances, embedding their systems, becoming not just a provider, but a requirement. It's not hard to see why investors are bullish. A company that owns the compute layer, the infrastructure layer, and now the ecosystem layer. That's not a stock, it's a platform. And while mainstream media keeps its eyes on flashy AI chatbots, NVIDIA is doing the groundwork. One factory, one chip, one partnership at a time. So the next time someone tells you that NVIDIA is just a graphics card company, ask them this. Would a graphics card company be designing the nervous system of the global AI infrastructure? I'll let you decide. Competition in the AI world is like a high-stakes Formula One race. Every team has powerful engines, brilliant engineers, and massive budgets. But only one car seems to be consistently pulling ahead, and that's NVIDIA. Let's start with AMD. A longtime rival in the gaming space, AMD has made serious strides with its MI300 series, AI-focused chips built to challenge NVIDIA's dominance. And on paper, they're impressive. High bandwidth memory, great efficiency, powerful performance. But here's the thing, AMD still lacks the ecosystem, NVIDIA doesn't just sell chips, it sells the whole experience. CUDA, their proprietary programming platform, is like the secret sauce. Developers around the world have built thousands of AI tools using CUDA. Switching to AMD would mean rewriting huge amounts of code. Most companies just won't do it. Then there's Intel. Once the undisputed king of semiconductors, Intel has struggled to keep pace. Their AI offerings like Gaudi processors show promise but they're still catching up on both hardware and software. Intel's focus has been fragmented. Part AI, part consumer CPUs, part foundry services. Meanwhile, NVIDIA is laser focused on one thing, being the backbone of AI. Now let's talk about a different kind of competitor, Google. Google has its own chip. The TPU, Tensor Processing Unit, it's powerful, optimized for machine learning, and widely used inside Google's data centers. But here's the catch. Google doesn't sell TPUs to everyone. They're mostly reserved for Google Cloud customers. So while TPUs might be fast, NVIDIA's GPUs are everywhere, from Amazon Web Services to startups in someone's garage. That's the power of openness. And then there's Huawei. Once just a phone maker, Huawei has turned to AI as a national mission, especially as US sanctions restrict access to NVIDIA chips. They're developing their own AI silicon, like the Ascend chips, and integrating them into Harmony OS and their cloud services. Here's where things get interesting. Huawei may be isolated from Western markets, but it's gaining ground fast in regions like Africa, Latin America, and parts of Asia. In a few years, we may see two AI ecosystems, one NVIDIA-powered and one Huawei-led. But even then, Huawei still faces one giant hurdle, trust. Many global enterprises are wary of relying on Chinese tech, especially for sensitive AI work. NVIDIA, on the other hand, has earned a reputation not just for performance, but for stability and support. The bottom line? NVIDIA isn't winning because it has the fastest chip. It's winning because it built a moat of developers, partnerships, software, and tools. It's not just a hardware company, it's the default AI platform for the world. And unless someone breaks that moat or reinvents the entire game, NVIDIA's lead will only grow. So ask yourself, when the next big AI breakthrough hits, whose name will be in the fine print? Exactly. If you've ever walked into a data center or even just seen pictures, you know the look. Endless rows of servers, blinking lights, 
the hum of cooling fans. These places store the internet, host your favorite websites, and back up your cloud photos. But to NVIDIA, they're not just storage warehouses, they're factories, eye factories. That's not a metaphor. That's NVIDIA's actual term for what they're building. Traditional data centers are passive. They store and deliver data. But AI factories? They create. They take in raw data and turn it into intelligence. Whether it's a chatbot that answers your questions, a self-driving system that learns from traffic patterns, or a financial model that predicts the next market crash. The core of this transformation lies in Blackwell-powered servers, supercharged with GPUs capable of running billions of calculations per second. But hardware is only half the story. To truly build an AI factory, you need a blueprint. And that's where Omniverse comes in. You may have heard of Omniverse as NVIDIA's 3D simulation platform. It's like the digital cousin of the real world, a place where machines, robots, and entire systems can be built tested and refined virtually before anything is deployed in the real world. Now, NVIDIA is expanding that concept with the Omniverse Blueprint for AI Factories, a software framework that allows companies to design, simulate, and optimize AI data centers down to the last screw. Before a single server is plugged in, engineers can test airflow, power distribution, chip layouts, and even simulate AI workloads under different conditions. Why does that matter? because building an AI factory isn't cheap. A single one can cost hundreds of millions of dollars. If something goes wrong, even a 1% cooling inefficiency, that's millions lost. Omniverse Blueprint helps prevent expensive mistakes and accelerates time to deployment. This is where NVIDIA's strategy gets genius. They're not just selling you the tools, they're selling you the instructions, the simulations, the whole ecosystem. It's like buying a car, the road, and the navigation system all from one brand. And while other companies are still shipping boxes of chips, NVIDIA is shipping entire AI blueprints. You get the hardware, the software, and the plan. That's incredibly attractive to enterprises. Whether you're a biotech firm training AI to fold proteins or a government agency simulating emergency responses, you don't just need raw power. You need reliability and scalability. NVIDIA is delivering both. And the best part? These AI factories aren't decades away. They're already being built, right now, in Europe, in the US, in Asia. They're being integrated into automotive design, logistics planning, even urban development. What NVIDIA sees, and what many don't, is that AI isn't a product, it's a process. And the companies that master the process, they'll define the next era of technology. So next time you hear the word data center, ask yourself, is it just storing files, or is it training the mind of tomorrow? If it's NVIDIA powered, it's probably doing. We often think of the future as something distant, something that arrives in decades, not days. But if you look closely, you'll see it's already here. And companies like NVIDIA aren't waiting for it. They're building it. One chip, one server, one AI model at a time. This isn't just about graphics cards or stock prices. It's about who controls the thinking machines of tomorrow. It's about whether we shape technology or let it shape us. NVIDIA's rise isn't luck, it's strategy. They saw the AI wave coming years ago, and they didn't just ride it, they built the surfboard. Today, they're not just part of the AI ecosystem, they are the ecosystem. Whether you're an investor, an engineer, or just someone trying to make sense of this wild digital age, one thing's clear, ignoring NVIDIA now is like ignoring Google in 2003. So what do you think? Is NVIDIA leading us to a brighter AI future, or into something we don't fully understand? Let's hear it in the comments. And if you found this video insightful, give it a like, hit subscribe, and share it with someone who still thinks NVIDIA only makes gaming cards. The future is here, and it's accelerating.